Hey guys, how's it going? Solo back with the beginning of another week of trading and kind of a wild day in the market today, right? We opened up red, a lot of red on the board. There was some news that came out over the weekend that was unfortunate about the Supreme Court justice passing away, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So people thought that that might be a little bit of a catalyst to cause the market to drop because now, you know, the administration might have to select a new Supreme Court justice. And obviously there's gonna be a lot of debate about that. But not only that, I think, you know, the market has been selling off for the past few days now. So it's a very odd day because historically for a long time, Mondays have always been green. And we kinda sorta squeaked out a green day on the queues today. If you take a look at the end of the day, the queues were up by just a few percentage points, but SPY still closed red. Let's take a look at the heat map here. Apple had a good day, 3%, Microsoft 1%, Netflix also, Amazon was pretty much flat, but a lot of these big tech stocks were kind of in the red and then kind of were able to squeak out a little bit of a green day during the power hour. Take a look at AMD though, AMD up 4%. It shot up like a rocket the first minute the market was open and I got excited and I thought, you know what though, it's just gonna sell off. It's gonna pop for about five minutes. It's probably gonna sell off for the rest of the day. But no, it held its ground up 4%. NVIDIA also up a little over 2.5%. The Honey Badger though, the Honey Badger was down 3%. So it's weird because AMD and Micron have been kind of doing the opposite things lately, which is a little odd. I don't know what Micron's doing. I don't know why it goes up. I don't know why it goes down. That's why I call it the Honey Badger. It just does whatever it wants right now. But Micron has been hovering in the 40s for quite some time between about like 43, 44 and like high 49s. So, you know, might be worth checking out to look at a strangles maybe, but right now in this market, I am so scared that I'm not gonna open up any new positions. I am sort of bag holding 200 shares of AMD and 200 shares of Space Virgin Galactic. So let's just take a quick look at them. So like I said, AMD took off like a rocket. By 9.50, it was up over three and a half percent. And then it quickly sold off like I figured it would. But then we rebounded and then we kind of rallied slowly all day long. We ended up closing the day up, like I said, over three and a half percent. And then after hours, we're still flat. So we're still holding our ground. We are up over 4% total for the day so far. So that's great for me because my covered calls right now are at the 85 strike. So let's just take a look at the options chain here. So I sold covered calls actually last week for this Friday. So I sold covered calls that were basically two weeks to expiration at the 85 strike, which is the price that I was assigned my shares on. So at $85, I actually sold them for $97 per contract. And right now they're going for 21. So I am pretty profitable on them. I am up $76 per contract times two. So I'm up $152 right now. You know, if AMD did dip like the rest of the market, this would have been an even lower number and I probably would have thought about closing my position and then opening up with some new covered calls. But right now there's still a little over $40 between my two contracts in premium left for me to squeeze out. So we'll see how the trading day goes tomorrow and Wednesday. I suspect by Wednesday or Thursday, these things, if AMD doesn't rally hard into the 80s by then, I'm assuming these things are gonna be worth like $5 or less. And then at that point, I'll probably just close it out and open up some more covered calls. But it's gonna to be to be determined where, meaning what strike I open my covered calls at for again, and also what expiration date. I was taking a look at some of the options today and they were decent return on risk, but the one week to two week to three week to four week uh, premiums were not that much different. Meaning if you were just to take the double of the weekly premium, it was exactly what the two week premium was. If I tripled it, it was what the three week premium was. So I really wasn't getting more premium by doing a longer data expiration, at least today in the options chain. We'll see if that changes. But if I'm not getting more than double premium for double the time frame, then I'll just keep selling weeklies because it doesn't make sense. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. Let's take a look at the trading view chart on AMD to see where we are. So. This is the chart, if you've seen my prior videos, I drew this trend line here, I drew these Fibonacci levels here, and I'm gonna make one adjustment because initially 
I drew this support level here at about a little over 75 because it was the bottom of these candles here, here, the bottom of the wick here, the bottom of these two candles here. But as we can see today, I'm gonna zoom in here. These candles each represent one trading day. So this is the green day today. And you can see, actually the past three trading days, the wicks have basically bounced off like the 70, high 73 to $74 range. And that's the beginning of this gap right here between about 74 and 71-ish. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this support level down to basically correspond to this gap level. So I'm gonna actually delete that. And I'm gonna use 74 as a support, I think, because it looks a little bit closer to what the stock is actually trading at as far as support, because you have the bottom of the wick, this wick here, then the bottom of the wicks of the past three trading days, including today. So actually I think, you know, initially I was saying 75 is probably an area of support. It might actually be closer to 74. And remember, I've said that these areas are not hard and fast numbers. They're not exact, right? They're more areas than they are exact values. So I think 74 is a closer estimate right now based on how we've traded the past three days than 75 is. And I still think right now 80s are a level of resistance. We haven't really tested that since about September 16th or the 15th. We'll have to wait and see if that holds up. But I'm also looking at these candles right now and wondering if somewhere around here, if I draw a trend line, somewhere around 78 is an area of resistance because you have the top of these candles here back in early August. You have the top of this candle here on September 8th. And then these candles here on September 14, 15, and 16 are right around that area. So I'm gonna leave that up here for now, see if that holds up because also the wick today got awfully close to 78 as well. I mean, it did get a little over 78, not as quite to this trend line here, but we'll have to see. I mean, maybe you have to move this trend line down a little bit like this, something like this as well, but we'll keep it here as a general area. So it seems like, at least based on what I'm seeing today, that the kind of range that AMD is gonna trade at is between 74 and 78. So we'll have to keep an eye on that to see if that holds true. I really hope we don't break to the downside because I think if we break below 74, we're gonna drop all the way to this low 70s, like 70, 71. And I don't want that to happen because I'm further away from my covered calls if I wanna sell them closer to my cost basis. So we'll see what happens this coming week, but I did adjust the technical analysis on AMD to account for some changes here. We'll see what happens. Let's take a look at my other position and that is Space or Virgin Galactic. I have 200 shares that I was assigned at $19. My cost basis right now is a little bit less than 19 because I've been selling covered calls ever since for about probably a good month and a half now, maybe even a little bit more. But Space did not have a good day. Like the rest of the market, it opened up in the red down about 2%, sold off all the way down to, it was at one point down over 7%, all the way down to less than $16. But then we rallied a little bit and pretty much have been trading flat all day. So we have been down over 4% today, but you know, I'll just keep selling covered calls on it. The premiums on space always tend to be rather juicy. I currently have 200 covered calls. Sorry, not 200 covered calls. I have 200 shares for two covered calls on Virgin Galactic. I would love to actually have 200 covered calls right now. I'd be uh, raking in the premiums, but I have them at the 19 strike, taking a look at the options chain if I sold those. Today, I would only get $5 in premium. I was actually fortunate enough to sell them for $60 in premium. So I'm up $55 per contract. I have two of them. So I'm actually up $110 so far on these covered calls. I mean, honestly, if this thing trades, you know, around this level tomorrow too, I might just close these out because there's not much premium left. There's only five bucks left per contract. I'm sure by tomorrow, if space doesn't have like a huge green day, They'll probably still trade maybe three, four or five dollars. And at that point, maybe I'll look into selling some more covered calls for the following Friday. Let's just take a look at October 2nd. You know, right now, if I look at 18, I can get about $40. I'd love to collect another 50 or $60, but to get that, I'd have to go to 17.50. Let's take a look at the trading view chart to see. But before I do that, let's see what it would be like if I went two weeks out. So just keep in mind $39 at the 18 strike for October 2nd. If I go another week out, so two weeks to expiration, $18 would be 63. So it's not quite double, right? Because 39 times two would be 79 or 78, I should say. But it's not, it's actually less than double. 
So really, it's not a good play in my opinion to go two weeks out because I could just sell two weeklies as long as that strike doesn't get hit and collect more total premium. So we'll have to wait and see what happens the rest of the week to see how far data expiration and what strikes I wanna choose. But to help me choose, let's take a look at the trading view chart here on space. So for the longest time, space has been trading between about, you know, mid 16s to like mid to low 18s. And as we can see, again, we had intraday lows that got down to like less than 16, around 15, high 15s. But we closed the day right around the $16 mark. Again, we're at 16.48 at the end of the day. I do think there's an area of support in the low 14s, all the way going back to about mid-June and maybe even mid to late May. But we haven't really tested that recently. So we'll have to see. I mean, this might be another area of support right here around just right around like $16, maybe even a little bit less than that because we have the bottom of this wick here, the bottom of this candle, the bottom of this wick, and then going back, there's a few wicks here in early July and then a few candles here in early June that got close to this level. So I'm gonna make this line a little bit thicker just to be in line with some of the other TA. But that might be another area of support right now, actually. So $14 might actually not actually be the closest area of support. Maybe 16 and like 1650-ish are might be the two areas of support. And right now, the bad thing about space is that it's trading below the 50-day moving average, which is this pink line, but also the 21-day moving average. So this is probably going to act as an area of resistance as well in the low 17s. So I could consider, you know, if I believe my technical analysis, selling my next covered calls at like 18 or 1850 to get a little bit more premium, maybe even 1750 if I really get really aggressive. But let's see what happens tomorrow. Some people are predicting tomorrow will be a turnaround Tuesday and the market will be big green. We'll have to wait and see. But that's my thoughts so far on my AMD and space shares that I'm selling covered calls on. Like I said, this market has been really choppy. I am actually gonna do a technical analysis video on SPY later tonight. So stay tuned, because that's probably gonna come out maybe an hour or two after this video goes live, so check that out. Because the market has been doing some scary things lately, so I don't wanna sell some more positions and get assigned more shares of stock. I wanna try to get rid of these stocks that I have right now, because I do think the market is gonna keep selling off, to be honest with you, in the long term. Or I should say in the more midterm, especially with the catalyst that we have going on with now the new Supreme Court justice nomination that's gonna, I'm sure, be debated. We have the election coming up. So we'll have to wait and see what happens, but I am not bullish on the market right now to the short to midterm. So I would like to be as much cash as possible and sell out of these positions, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. I believe AMD and Space are decent stocks that if I do end up holding shares, they will get back to the levels uh, where I was assigned shares at so I can sell them off for a profit or at least break even. But we'll just have to wait and see. Let me know if you made any trades today. Hopefully you're not losing any money given that we had a decent sell off today. As always, if you're not in our Discord server already, you're missing out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the YouTube comment section below. And as always, happy trading.